hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel another day another scholarship so today we'll be going to switzerland fully funded masters and phd scholarships in switzerland these are wonderful generous opportunities that you do not want to miss but before i proceed youtube analytics whispered into my ears that um, a number of you are not subscribed yet so a number of you come to watch my videos get inspired start preparing for your applications but do not subscribe and um, please guys i appeal to you to kindly smash that um subscribe button leave me a like um click on the notification bell as well it's a way of encouraging the channel and also helping to um improve the spread of the video so the more likes i get the more subscribers i get the more youtube is likely to um, suggest my videos to other people so please do this um, as a form of altruism to so click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell and leave me a like and even a comment as well so let's go back to the video so fully funded masters phd scholarships in different universities in switzerland I do not need to talk too much about Switzerland itself because it's a well-known um, country in the world, quite wealthy, high standard of living, lots of opportunities. It's the perfect place to study in the first place. And um, I'll be showing you a number of interesting opportunities here in Switzerland. So you have um, opportunities at the ETHM Zurich. University. This university is a world-class university, one of the leading universities in the world, not just in Europe. It's among the top 20, top 30 universities, if you check the QS rankings. So the number of PhD, the number of masters, I mean masters opportunities here, that you're going to be looking at. We we'll also have a number of other opportunities in other universities. So this is the University of Bern, also in Switzerland. And here we have numerous PhD opportunities. We'll be looking at this shortly. And then we'll go back to master's opportunities at the University of um, Luzern. Luzern also in Switzerland. Then we'll check the University of Basel. University of Basel also in Switzerland. So these are numerous opportunities. So before you rush to the description box to get the links to these um, scholarships, yes, I'll be dropping the links below. I'll be talking you through a number of important details that you might need to know about these scholarships but in your free time take time to read through the instructions yourself so let's go fully funded scholarships this time you're starting with master's scholarships then we we'll alternate to a phd and then back to a master's and we're starting from eth eth zurich eth zurich a master's and phd and um, scholarships so here it's the excellence scholarship an opportunity program excellence scholarship and opportunity program so what does this cover it covers actually master's scholarship for high achieving masters um, candidates or masters applicants from wherever in the world for any from any country in the world whether they're coming from africa or from latin america or from the us or from um asia or the or europe it doesn't matter Australia, Antarctica, wherever. So yeah, if you're a very industrial student, high achieving student, you might want to consider this um, scholarship. So it covers food tuition, as you can see here. The scholarship covers the full study and living cost during the master's and program. So it covers full tuition and also stipend while you're studying in the beautiful country of Switzerland. So let's get more info about this scholarship. So let's look at the eligibility prerequisites, eligibility and then prerequisites. So a very good bachelor's degree, usually 10% of the bachelor's program. So usually an A, that's a first class or at least a very good two one. Then they want you to include a phone number in your cv so you're going to be sending a cv and every other document required for the application things like a, a cv a statement of purpose stating why you want to study in the university and why the course and they might tell you to depends on the department you're applying to be checking the departments shortly so any other documents they tell you to provide remember to provide the cv and put your phone number 
on that CV. They'll be contacting you through that phone number if you make it to the to the next stage of the application. So when is the application window? We're looking at this very soon. We're looking at the application window very soon. So the documents, application documents. So this might vary from department to department, and we'll be checking the departments shortly. However, there is one document you must submit regardless of the department you're going into. And they call this the pre-proposal for your master's. The pre-proposal for your master's. The master's here is not a research master's, it's a taught master's. So you go to class and you learn a number of things and you take an exam. But there's a small research component that you have to do at the end of the master's for about four to six months. And they want you to submit a pre-master's and proposal. And do not panic about this because they've already given guidelines on how to actually submit this document what to be contained in this document is just 500 words so you don't need to sweat about it but this is what they want you to do just 500 word document so here you state a topic that you like to um, research on or like to investigate state the topic state the um, current state of research on that topic and states what you'll be bringing to the table what new idea what new insight you'll be bringing to the table so here there are already guidelines of how to prepare this document so do not panic read just this, this one page document and you have nothing to worry about so just 500 words guys it's just it's a walk in the park you shouldn't stress you too much so let's move on guys so let's go to the scholarship amount and duration so you'll be paid twelve thousand um switches franc per semester twelve thousand franc per semester i think a semester is about six months so if you're being paid twelve thousand so like two thousand franc um Per month and I think that's 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 quite sufficient and of course you're getting full tuition waiver you're not paying any tuition you're not paying any tuition while studying at this excellent university and a beautiful country so the other bits of info here you might want to consider but let's quickly look at the courses the courses available in this university let's use the search function and check the courses and before then, look closely at the, the right-hand side or the left-hand side of your screen and see the application window. So it is November, December 2021 against fall in 2022. So from November, December, the application window will open. You might say, oh, this is very far away. I can relax and wait till then. That is a very big mistake. Most of those who get scholarships, they prepare ahead of time start putting some of the documents together and day by day, week by week, improve upon the document. So if you decide to apply a month before, for instance, I don't think the application you put forward will be as um, polished if you started like two, three months before the application um, deadline, if that makes sense. So if you start now and gradually start putting your things together before and um, then, I think you'll be able to come up with a very um, substantial competitive application so do not sleep on this start working on uh, on it right away i know it is it is november december and it seems far away but do not take it for granted start working so let's go to the master's program and see the available master's programs in the university So let's see the variety of programs they have here. So there are about five faculties. You have um, architecture engineering, you have um, system oriented um, natural sciences, you have management and social sciences, natural sciences, mathematics, and engineering. So you could click on one of them and see the courses under these different faculties. So I clicked on management and social sciences, and these are the courses on them. And of course, these are links to the courses so you can read them yourself. Check their peculiar applications requirements, check what they need, check the documents they want you to provide. 
So that's it for this university. ETH Zurich, fully funded master's scholarship, a generous stipend. Although the deadline is in November, but do not be lazy. Do not wait till then. Do not wait in November, December to start applying, but you can start putting things together now. So let's move to another excellent opportunity. This time, PhD um, scholarships. Remember, we still have another master's scholarship at the University of um, Luzern. Now we have another PhD scholarship at um, Basel. So now let's quickly look at the PhD scholarship at um, this is actually University of Bern. I must I must say, PhD opportunities University of Bern. So I would also leave this link below and just simply use the filter system. Put here PhD and see what comes out. So in the first item here, you actually have masters and PhD. So they actually even have masters here as well in bioinformatician. So masters PhD in bioinformatician position. And of course, there are other vacancies here as well. You have PhD in epidemiology and biostatistics. You have other things here, psychiatry. You have um, economic development. So check this out and see which one um, aligns with your interest. You also have postdoc as well, postdoc opportunities. So this is the one for regional economic development. And this is what they want. You click on this link and see the, admis the admissions requirements. Here it says you're expected to, to have completed the masters, preferably in economics. Okay. And the other things here you might need to know, like softwares you might need to, some software you might need to know, like um, starter error and the rest of them. Proficient in English, then the knowledge of German is highly recommended. It's recommended but not compulsory. So check this for all the vacancies here. Let's move to the next master's um, opportunity. So this is at the University of Luzern. Still master's scholarship. And um, I think this master's scholarship, it's usually I bring it to you fully funded scholarships. But this one is kind of fully funded as well because you don't have to pay tuition and they give you a thousand six hundred per month as well. However, it is said here that this sum might not be sufficient for you to live in Switzerland. You can see the information here. Candidates are made aware of the fact that the sum of the scholarship awarded is not sufficient to live in Switzerland. So for this, you might have to find um, an alternative source of income to augment this scholarship. And just usually I bring to you fully funded, but I think this is also an opportunity that someone out there might want to take advantage of. Someone out there with a bit of savings that might just need to add extra like 500 euros or 500 franc and mix up to the 2,000 um, franc um, living stipend. But tuition is waived, so that's that's already, that's good news. That's good news, by the way. So this is it, guys. And of course, you check the eligible requirements, the, um, what they call them, the requirements for the different participating universities and the opening and closing dates for this um, scholarship as well. You could read through all that info yourself. The scholarship for this intake has closed. That's for those entering this year, but for next year, it's open very soon, as well with a similar deadline as what we saw at um, ETH Zurich. So let's move now to on yet another scholarship, and this is um this is in Basel, University of Basel, still in Switzerland. So, so now you see there are several PhD scholarships here, PhD and postdoc scholarships here. So check the one of the lines with your interest. Uh, most of them, I must confess here, are mostly STEM-based, medical-based um, 
opportunities so check if any of them aligns with your interest and yes apply so that's it guys fully funded scholarships okay apart from the one in i'm losing where you might have to look for alternative source of an income for living stipend but most of them as i showed you the other three are fully funded either for phd or for masters so take advantage of these opportunities guys and um do not um wait till the deadlines to start applying start putting things together gradually and i will see you sooner than later see you bye bye for now